Hi, my name is Andrew. I work for Cellcom. I'm going to be showing you how to back up your phone today. There's many different reasons why you would want to back up your phone. The first reason being you're interested in upgrading and you really want a quick easy in, easy out of that store. Another reason is you really want to know your information is backed up in case you lose your phone, it's broken. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back up your Android phone. Here I have a Samsung phone. You may have an LG, a Motorola, or anything in between, but every single one of them is going to back up very similar to this. All it is is downloading the apps necessary to do so, which are most of them are Gmail apps or Google apps. The first thing we're going to go into is contacts. So contacts, we have two different contacts. One of them is stored on the phone. One of them is stored on Gmail. And to differentiate between the two, we're going to click on one. This one says it's connected via, and then that little symbol stands for the phone. It's only stored on the phone. The other one has a little G right there. That one means that it's stored on Google. That's what we want to see on all of our contacts. So how do we get this one to look like the other one? We go into more, and if, even if you had millions of contacts, this process would work the same. We're going to go into settings and move device contacts to your Google account. After you push that every single night when you're connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to take those contacts and send them off to Google, even if they're already there. So we know that your information or your contacts for sure are being backed up to Google. The only thing that you need to know going to your next phone or logging into your Gmail address is your password. Your Gmail address and password are the key to all of these functions. The next thing I want to talk about is your photos. This is an app called Google Photos. It backs up all of your pictures, all of your videos, every single night, just like the one, just like contacts. And if we click on that, these are all the pictures that we have on this device. And we know that all of them are being backed up because right here it has a little cloud with a check mark next to it. And after scrolling down, it even says backup complete. If we click here, we want to make sure that your Gmail address is being read right there. There's other things that are on the phone, like your downloaded pictures, your Facebook pictures, your Instagram pictures. Those can all be found in the device folders. It's a little bit more than what I'm willing to show you right now, but it's essentially the same thing. You just want to make sure that all of those photos and all those folders get backed up as well. Other things that customers want backed up are their notes and their documents. Google Drive is a perfect way to do all of that in one simple, easy to use app. So if we click there, you want to have your Gmail address here, and then you have the ability to upload stuff, whether it's from a PDF file or you have a note that you want to save in your Google Drive. All of this can carry that information. Google Keep is a kind of a newer app to me, but I like it because it does take my notes and it backs them up every single day. So if we get started, all you would have to do is just start typing a note. And you can type in whatever you want and this phone already has your Gmail address on it, so it's gonna start backing up all those notes to your Gmail address. And then going to the next phone and the next phone after that, or even going onto your computer, you would be able to find all of these notes so you will never lose anything. Your apps can actually be backed up and they're already backed up, again, just because you have a Gmail address on the phone. If you were to go right here, say you're getting into a new phone and you wanna download all the rest of your apps that you had on your last phone, you can go into My Apps and Games and go to your library and all the apps that you have ever downloaded will be in this section right here. Very, very long list if you wanna go through it, but then you would just be able to push install and it would install it on your phone. Very quick and easy way to get your apps back. This last one isn't actually a Google app, but it is trusted by a lot of uh, the community. Uh, it's called SMS Backup Plus. All right, if we click on this, and SMS is actually a text message, so this is what's gonna back up all your text messages. All you really need to do is go in here and you connect it to your Gmail address, just click on that, 
and you push back up. And you can actually tell it to auto back up every night or you can back it up manually. Those are the five or six ways to back up your phone. All the information that is most important is now backed up. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Cellcom's Facebook page for more helpful tips and information.